Eileen Adiola expertly uses a chop saw to cut through metal. She's come a long way from her time in juvenile hall. I did grow up in the system. Adiola wanted to make a big change after her detention. I wanted a better life for myself and my kids, so I went where you know, not most women would go. It's not an easy trade, but it's something that I enjoy doing. I enjoy working with my hands and it's it's all worth it in the end. She turned to the Boots program offered through the Southwest Mountain States Training Fund, which is part of the Western States Regional Council of Carpenters. The Boots program helps women learn the ins and outs of the carpentry trade, from using power tools to hanging drywall to walking onto a job site with confidence. I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be, where I can reach out to other women to show them, hey, you know, it's not easy, and if you don't have help, you can find a way. There's help out there. There's resources. You can get where you want to be. You just need to want it. The Brothers Keepers program was the best fit for Sergio Lambert. Once incarcerated, he's now taking his life to new heights. Lambert learned all about construction in the program and became a union journeyman carpenter. My life has changed drastically. Um, I've been able to get a career out of it and uh, financially uh, change my family for the better. Both programs are available to veterans, people who've been in jail or homeless, or people who grew up without opportunities. The opportunities here, so just uh, make it happen. And now Lambert and Ariola are doing what they can to help others build a better future. In Silmar, Elise Martinez, KCAL News. And if you would like more information on these apprenticeship programs, we have links on our website. Just go to kcalnews.com, click Scene on TV.